Hello crafters! This tutorial will show you how to set up, cut out and score a packaging obsession design with the Silhouette Cutting Machine software and is useful for those who are not familiar with using Silhouette Studio or a Silhouette scoring tool. I'll be using the packaging obsession bookmark envelope with sleeve design to demonstrate how it works. If you purchased a different packaging design and you only want to find out how to assemble it, please check the assembly tutorial included in the file you downloaded. I'll start with a general explanation of the files. You may have already successfully purchased and downloaded the zip file. If purchased on Etsy, the file will have been sent to you via a confirmation email, or you can go to your Etsy profile, then click Purchases and Reviews, and download the file from there. Make sure to unzip the file first. On Windows, this means you right-click with the mouse button and select Extract All. On a Mac, you simply double-click the file. Next, open Silhouette Studio. In this video, I'll be using the free basic version of Silhouette Studio, which uses DXF files. However, if you're using a paid version, the process will be similar. The difference is that you can use SVG files as well. Once it has opened, you want to click on the file icon. Go into the folder and select DXF files. Then choose the size or style that you want. I'll be choosing a medium bookmark template. If you have a scoring tool accessory for your machine, you'll want to select the scoring tool option. If you'd like the machine to cut perforated fold points on the design with a silhouette blade, select the fine blade option. Finally, if you want the machine to cut out only the basic design and let you score the full points manually, select the score manually option. Let's try the scoring tool option and one of the embellished designs. So here you can see the design on the canvas. Go up to the top right and click send. Then click line. This line in green indicates where the machine needs to score. So change the cut to score. From here, you can start your machine and follow its instructions. For the other methods, using fine blade or scoring manually, you won't need to change anything in the software and can simply tell your machine to start cutting. And there you have it. Your design has been scored and cut. Or, if you use the fine blade or manual methods, it has simply been cut. You can now assemble your design so that it's ready to show off your beautiful creations. For more details on assembly, check out the relevant tutorial included in the file you purchased, or check out my channel to see that and lots more designs. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials, as well as other content to help small businesses and crafters. Happy crafting!